Okay, we're going to have a look at installing, configuring, and using Vacom Pro. So there'll be three videos um, for this series. The first one will be an installation, the second one will be configuring, and the third one will be how to use it. So let's just rip into uh, installing. Now, I'll take it that you've installed uh, Voice Attack, uh, extremely easy to install. And all you have to do is duck into the Voice Attack website, um, go to the home, and they've got download and purchase. Now, you will need to purchase a registration to use Vacom Pro with Voice Attack because of the number of commands that it uses. So, if you have a look at the purchase side of things, it's 10 bucks, it's not going to break the bank. I'd recommend it, it's an Unreal program anyway. And even if you decide you don't like Vacom Pro, uh, Voice Attack is, I'd call it a necessity for VR flight simulation. Uh, so once you've installed that, it's very straightforward. Uh, we need to get hold of Vacom Pro. Now, this is our GitHub site. Uh, people find GitHub a little bit daunting. However, you don't have to worry about any of the things in here. Um, this is for the development side of things. There's information here about the software itself. It's completely open source, so you can actually see what's in the code. Um, so there's nothing nefarious in there. The releases are over on the right-hand side here. The newest one will always be up here at the top, um, but you can look at the different releases. Now, it's as simple as clicking on that release, and there it is there and going down to the assets. Now there's a Microsoft installer version that you can download and it will guide you through the installation. Really straightforward. And then all you have to do is import your profile into Voice Attack. But let's look at the zip option. So if I click that and let it download, I will get a Vacom Pro zip in my downloaded items. So let's go to that now. And in downloads, you will see my Vacom Pro zip. Let's drag it across so you can see it. Uh, there it is there. Installation is simple as going into the zip and copying the Vacom Pro folder. Now, if you want to know what's in there, uh, not a lot. There's a documentation folder which has the manual. Please read it because there's a lot to know. A license text, the end user license agreement, and then the main file is this one here, the library file, which the plugin uses for everything. Now, this Vicom Pro, Vicom Pro, uh, Vicom Pro X, EXE is a small program that basically just starts voice attack and it also, if voice attack crashes, it will restart it. Uh, I do use that um, myself and I just create a link to it and run it and that's how I start voice attack. But let's pretend that's not the case and we're just going to start voice attack. When we start it, you will see, as I haven't put the plug in, into voice attack, it comes up and you've just got my profile and there's nothing in there. Now there's a couple of things we have to do to install. The first one is go into the options here and we have to enable plugin support here. So enable plugin support, um, it's like that, it gives you a warning about plugins, how they execute and stuff, that's right, because that's how they work. Uh, select that. And as we've got no plugins yet, there's nothing in the plugin manager, just select OK. It says next time it starts, it'll start with plugin support. OK, that's cool. Um, let's shut it down now and let's grab the Vacom Pro folder out of that zip we just downloaded, copy it, and then go over to your voice attack folder, which in my case is in C, program files 86, voice attack, and you'll see an apps folder. All you do is drop it in the apps folder, not the import folder, just the apps folder. Yes. And 
there it is. Now, if we go back to voice attack and run it again, with plugin support enabled, run as administrator. Whenever you're using Viacom and voice attack with DCS World, uh, you'll need to run as administrator. So basically we've got our uh, voice attack started, but this time with plugin support enabled and it's loaded in the Viacom Pro plugin. Uh, it says press left control, left alt C to open the Viacom Pro UI, initializing, listening suspended, ready for commands, and the plugin initialized. Well, if I press that now, left control, alt C, uh, nothing. The reason is I don't have the profile loaded here, the voice attack profile. So at the moment, I've just got the original one that came with voice attack with nothing in it. It's a simple matter of pressing the plus button over to import a profile, import, and strangely enough, it opens up at the voice attack apps Viacom Pro profiles section. If it doesn't, you just navigate to voice attack apps Viacom Pro profiles, because when we ran it, it created this profile and a folders and a couple of other database folders and bits and pieces in there. So you select that, open, this profile you're importing contains actions that execute applications. Yes, it does. There we go. And now it says profile Viacom Pro for DCS World. Now, if I press the command left, control left, alt C, it says opening configuration window and there's our configuration window. Uh, that's it. We're pretty much installed. Now there's one last thing to do and that is uh, in the editor tab here uh, it says there's 1520 keywords or key phrases that are in the database and they have to match this profile now as this has just been updated and it's continually updated it's good practice just to hit the test button it says here inspecting profile and over here it'll tell you if we're missing any aliases now I know we are because this has been updated a bit since the last profile was uh, adjusted in the code for Viacom because there's no real reason to do it when we can just let the editor automatically do it. So let it run through its process. And while it's doing that, uh, we can have a quick look. We've got numerous tabs on here, which we will visit in the next video to configure Viacom. And a diagnostics panel that we can press little bit about Viacom Pro here and a reset panel which when you're having problems it's quite handy just to use that to reset databases and keywords. So you can see um, a couple of things that happen. In orange here we've got 468 missing aliases okay, in our profile and this finish button is written, lit up yellow which is saying I want you to press me because when I do it's going to copy all the keyword database onto the clipboard. I click OK. And now if I edit the profile using the edit profile button here, when it pops up, you can see there's our Viacom Pro for DCS World profile. Bunch of stuff in here, but the important one is this keywords collection. You can see there's a heap of commands in there. Now, if you get in here and it looks something like this with single line keywords, it's as simple as just pressing these three lines down here on this icon and converting it back to, with that one, back to a single line uh, keyword, which is there. Now, all we have to do is open that command up and you can see all the keywords in here, all 1,520 are in this box here. So when I say, Select somewhere in the box, Control A to select all, Control V to paste our clipboard, hit OK, and you'll know it's added new commands because it says it wants to apply, hit apply, hit done, and now you have updated your profile with the newest keyword database. Now if we test it, because there's so many commands, it takes a while to run through, it should come up and say we have no further actions. And we can say that Viacom Pro now is installed. So 
there is nothing else to do in the installation side of things. And in the next video, we'll have a look at configuring both, both Voice Attack and Viacom Pro. And we'll be using the little wrench symbol here, the Voice Attack Options button. And we'll be using the Preferences, Multiplayer, Expansions, and Config tabs in Viacom Pro UI. There we go. Profile, Voice Attack with DCS World, Matches Database, No Steps Needed. Well, there we go. We're installed. I'll see you in the next video.